Have you ever wondered what an object would look like if it sped past you at nearly the speed of light? Not just where it is, but its actual shape and appearance? Imagine a sphere or spacecraft hurtling through space at these mind-bending speeds. Our everyday experiences, like the blur of a passing car, don't prepare us for what happens at relativistic velocities. For years, scientists thought such objects would appear squashed thanks to the concept of length contraction from Einstein's special relativity. But is that really what we'd see with our eyes or a camera? Surprisingly, no. What we perceive visually isn't a direct reflection of these physical changes. The true appearance of a near light speed object is far more spectacular. It involves not just physics, but how light travels from the object to us. Enter the Terrell Penrose rotation, a phenomenon where a fast moving object appears to rotate, not flatten. Why would something moving straight seem to turn? The answer lies in the mechanics of sight, the speed of light, and the fabric of space-time. In 1959, physicists James Terrell and Roger Penrose independently described a visual effect that would change our understanding of relativity. They weren't disputing length contraction, but asking, what do we actually when an object moves at relativistic speeds? Their insight, the common belief that objects look squashed, is an oversimplification. While length contraction is real, a photograph wouldn't show a flattened object. Instead, it would appear rotated, like seeing a sphere from a new angle, not as a pancake. This rotation is an illusion, but one rooted in the physics of light and space-time. It's not a trick of the mind, but a direct result of how photons travel from different parts of the object to the observer. To form a single image, light from all parts of the object must reach the observer at the same instant. The Terrell Penrose rotation isn't a new force or a real spin. It's the geometry of light's journey at extreme speeds. This distinction between measured properties and visual appearance was a revelation in physics. Why does this apparent rotation happen? The key is the finite speed of light. At near light speeds, the time it takes for light from different parts of an object to reach your eyes becomes crucial. For a fast-moving cube, light from the trailing face was emitted when the cube was further back, so you see parts of its past. This lets you see around the corner. Parts of the object normally hidden become visible. For a sphere, its outline stays circular, but surface patterns appear swirled, as if the sphere has rotated. Even points from the far side can peek into view, creating a stunning illusion. The Terrell Penrose effect is all about timing. Light from different parts of a fast moving object takes different amounts of time to reach you. For slow objects, this delay is negligible, but at relativistic speeds, it dominates what you see. Imagine snapping a photo of a near light speed spacecraft. The light forming that image left different parts of the craft at different times. This time lag means you see the back and sides as they were earlier, and the front as it is now, creating the illusion of rotation. The object isn't twisting. Your eye is assembling a rotated view from staggered light signals. At everyday speeds, these effects vanish. But as velocity approaches light speed, the illusion becomes dramatic. The finite speed of light transforms observation itself at high velocities. The Terrell Penrose effect beautifully demonstrates this principle. Several principles from Einstein's relativity combine to create the Terrell Penrose rotation. First, the Lorentz transformation describes how space and time measurements change for moving observers, including length contraction. Next, relativistic aberration shifts the apparent direction of incoming light, concentrating it toward the direction of motion, like the headlight effect. Most crucially, the finite speed of light means signals from different parts of a moving object arrive at different times. This lets you see parts of the object as they were in the past, distorting its appearance into a rotated form. These effects, Lorentz contraction, aberration, and light speed, work together to create the illusion. The Terrell Penrose rotation isn't a contradiction of length contraction, but its true visual manifestation. It's a richer, more accurate picture than simple squashing. For decades, visualizing these effects was limited to theory and diagrams. But with modern computers and ray tracing graphics, we can now simulate what objects look like at near light speeds. 
These simulations trace light rays from every point on a virtual object, factoring in all relativistic effects. The results are stunning. Objects don't just look squashed, they appear rotated, revealing surfaces normally hidden. A sphere's outline stays circular, but surface features swirl and distort, and even the far side becomes visible. A cube appears to rotate, showing multiple faces at once in a single distorted view. These visualizations make the abstract tangible, confirming Terrell and Penrose's predictions. They help us intuitively grasp phenomena that equations alone can't convey. Simulations bridge the gap between theory and perception, making relativity real. They transform complex physics into vivid, unforgettable experiences. Despite compelling theory and simulations, directly observing Terrell Penrose rotation in real life is nearly impossible. We simply can't accelerate everyday objects to near light speeds. The energy required is astronomical. But the effect isn't just a thought experiment. Astrophysical phenomena, like supernovae or jets from black holes, involve material moving at relativistic speeds. Interpreting their images requires understanding these optical effects. Virtual reality now lets us experience these effects firsthand, simulating near light speed worlds. While not direct observation, VR offers a powerful, intuitive way to explore relativity's visual consequences. The quest to witness these phenomena continues to drive innovation in both science and technology. The Terrell Penrose rotation teaches us that our perception isn't absolute. It's shaped by space-time and the laws of light. At relativistic speeds, what we see can defy all intuition. Visualizing these effects transforms relativity from abstract math into an engaging, memorable experience. This is invaluable for education, making complex concepts intuitive and accessible. These principles are also crucial for interpreting extreme astrophysical events, like those near black holes. Advances in graphics and AI are making real-time, realistic simulations more accessible than ever. The ability to depict the universe under extreme conditions is a powerful tool for discovery and communication. Ultimately, the Terrell Penrose effect reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, challenging us to see reality in new ways.